Hello my friends and welcome to the Kaspersky Security Channel. Uh, today I'm going to show you one more simple process. It is very simple actually, but it wasn't available until, well, I discovered this yesterday, but it wasn't available until the version 14 of the Kaspersky Security Center. And I have received lots of customers uh, asking how to migrate from a Microsoft database, a Microsoft SQL server to a MySQL. And this is what I'm going to show you today uh, because now this is available just from the standard backup tool. Um, so you can go to Kaspersky Backup Utility on your start menu or you can go to KL Backup from the Kaspersky Security Center folder. I think it's easier to just type like backup on your start menu and you should see this. And next, next, and here it is. Now you have these options. These weren't available at version 13. Migrate to MySQL is a new thing. So what you're gonna do, just click here, migrate to MySQL. The backup will be reformatted in a way that MySQL is uh, compatible. You can specify your passwords here and you click next, next, next. You will have a backup compatible with MySQL database. What you are gonna do next you're gonna do a new Kaspersky Security Center installation. And on this installation, you will choose MySQL as, a, as your database. Of course, you have to have it pre-installed. And after the installation is done, you choose Restore Backup. You will go to the same tool here and you will just choose Restore Administration Server Data and you choose your backup that is compatible with the MySQL server. Of course, the MySQL server installation together with the Kaspersky Security Center is a subject for a next video. Um, one more note that is important to take. Uh, if you're using a previous version of Kaspersky Security Center, let's say you have version 12, version 13, and you want to migrate to MySQL, of course, uh, there's a simple way that is upgrade to version 14 and then do your backup. Okay, this is kind of obvious, but I think it's worth to make this observation. Um, that's it for this video. Now you know that you can migrate and it is really a simple procedure. So if you like this video, if this helped you, uh, click like, click subscribe because there's 100% chance that but just by subscribing to this channel, you will save your company time and money. I have right here several solutions that I have listed. These are the most common issues that Kaspersky Security Center, Kaspersky Endpoint Security customers face and actually call support asking for help and they will all be here in the same channel, okay? So subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.